Now, recording this time around, recording with you guys from what I've seen in a year and a half in the life in St. Anger is never a happy time or a pleasant, easy process. There always seems right. to be some kind of torture in the studio with you guys. Um, with Rick Rubin at the helm this time around, I heard he was really very hands-off, kind of Rick comes in, listens and goes, it's not there yet, and then leaves you to it. How did that work this time around? Was it more comfortable or? I liked it. I think it gave us uh, gave us a chance to, you know, fumble, screw up, fix it. Uh, we, we basically were left on our own. Bob Rock, on the other records, was always there to help, you know, motivate, to help do whatever. I mean, he had wore many hats. Now. There was no one there. It went from, you know, St. Anger where we had, like, you know, enhancement coaches, <laughs> you know, management, and everyone, you know, making sure, okay, get together, guys, you know, don't kill each other and uh, make a nice record. Bye. Uh, <clears throat> you know, this time was, okay, um, should we start writing? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> uh, do you, you got a key to the jam room? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how do we get in there? Okay, let's go. And, you know, we had, you know, Ruben showed up every once in a while to offer some direction, some motivation, and say yay or nay to songs. But otherwise it was like, hey, you guys, <laughs> you are Metallica, act like it, <laughs> you know, go do it. And we did, and uh, we're pretty pretty proud of it. Probably a good time now that you guys reached like a mature point where you could kind of take responsibility. And it, I mean, it sounds yeah, like it's, part, it's Metallica produced and Rick Rubin produced. Right, right. well, yeah, I mean, it's that whole sane anger Oh, it was such uh, an amount of work from within, uh, getting each other healthy so we could even communicate with each other, let alone make one joint communication called St. Anger. This one was so much easier, so much, uh, uh, I guess, motivation in the same direction. We had no enemies within you know we had a we had a vision we had a mission people so, weren't setting each other off like they used to in the past and nobody's pushing buttons right we felt comfortable with each other we were able to feel looser in the studio and then get a better attitude a better vibe to feel like increased communication with with each other right. since you had to and sure there were there. times where it came down to okay there's the Mexican standoff where no one's gonna budge you know uh, I like I like the song this way, he, Lars likes it, you know, he is Lars. He likes it that way, okay, what are we gonna do here? Well, all right, we'll try it this way, we'll try it that way, and we'll just leave it for a while, and we'll come back to it, and uh, let Rick Rubin hear his his opinion. He might have a third better opinion, so, and that did happen quite, quite often. Mm -hmm. We never got hung up on stuff like that. Is there a DVD coming out of this album production too, uh, you think? Another kind of monster. Uh. <laughs> a nicer monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, <clears throat> there's not, not a plan for that. <sighs> I think. Because uh, honestly, I think it was really hard for the fans to see some kind of monster yeah. in respect. I, I believe, I believe you're right. It wasn't for the fans, really. It was kind of a movie for the non-fan, being able to see. Wow, they're they're actually human and. They have some pretty screwed up issues, and they're working on them. But it's a human story, not so much my hero's story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I could see that it's tough for a fan to watch that. I mean, it's tough for me to watch it. Uh, but a great mirror for us. I think it was a great gift. Happened for a reason, and we couldn't not put that out. Uh, you know, it was a ballsy move, but I think there's a lot of accountability a lot of accountability now with us and our fans and the world. You know, I think if I'm walking into a bar, someone will go, hey, isn't that that dude in the monster movie that's not <laughs> supposed to drink? Oh yeah, thanks, yeah, thank you. So, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know, this movie would be boring. <laughs> us getting along. Everybody get along. Hey, well, <laughs> well, Mission Metallica was was part partly that, you know, the build up for the record, the, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, two minutes of, of your daily dose of us, you know, eating a sandwich in the studio. I mean, wow, I mean, how much footage can we have of someone eating in the studio? Well, but there was actual content, you know, 
you wanted to give them a bit of the record without giving it all away and ah you know so without conflict no movie you know you've seen movies before you've seen uh, uh, reality TV oh, yeah. you've seen uh, you know you gotta have you gotta have struggle and then everyone roots for everyone to get better so so you feel like you guys have the tools to avoid as much struggle as possible I think and conflict whatever comes we'll be able to deal with better but life life is a, a hugely unknown uh, and whatever something horrible could happen it could you know throw everyone into a loop but we're, hopefully we're not good now you feel like you built a better Metallica in the last Absolutely. few years no doubt about that there's no doubt and it's still surreal to think that this album's doing really good we're on tour forever and people are showing up at the shows and we're playing like six songs live new ones and oh feels really good really, really good we're excited I think that they need to take you back yeah because right, yeah. the family's here so I don't want to take up any more of your time but Radio. thanks a bunch we appreciate it okay. 107 7 The Bone streaming online at 1077thebone.com